I'm gonna be playing Spooky's Jump Scare Imagine HD Renovation. I'm gonna do a shout out to a YouTuber by the name of Wambu who actually introduced me to this game because I originally was scared of playing this because of the jump scare in the title. As you can see, I have all of it. I have not played Dollhouse or Katamari, but we're gonna start with just the mansion. Okay, um, I'm gonna go for the right this time. For people who don't really know about this game, this is like a love letter to the horror genre. Um, this originally came out in like 2014 and was known as Spooky's House of Jump Scares, but a German haunted house, I think, sent him a season assist, so Akuma Kira had to change the title. And now it's uh, Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. I'm gonna see if I can try and figure out the references later down the line, but. <laughs> I'm mad. I'm genuinely mad. <laughs> Why did I not expect that? At first this place just seemed cute, but I've been here for days now. I'm feeling quite parched now and I keep getting this feeling like I'm being watched by something. This is not romantic at all. I mean, some people find haunted houses romantic. I guess. I personally would not try and make that my first date ever. I can't believe I got scared by a tree stump. <laughs> Mother f Why- Why are there beds in here? They wanted to build a- <laughs> I know something is following me, but I feel like I am prancing through the same rooms over and over. Hopefully leaving notes as breadcrumbs to prove I am making progress and reaching some destination. I just hope I don't run out of ink, I'm dreadfully thirsty. Um... I don't think bones are supposed to do that. Um, I, I do at least want to try and get like... <laughs> Every fucking time. Skull! Hi! Do you know the way out of this haunted place? Oh no, you're right, I forgot you don't have vocal cords. Sorry. Oh, three beds again. And a pretty unnerving sound. I'm gonna go. That's for all their friends. <laughs> yes. Spooky wants friends. Safe room. Cat. One of my favorite jump scares is actually a scene in uh, Psycho 1960, and it's not the shower scene. It's the um, scene on the staircase with the detective. Um, because like you, you expect something to happen, and it happens, and then the violence kick in, and that like made me nearly jump out of my seat. You know? Oh, this is a very elaborate. <laughs> um, did the Ghostbusters wind up here earlier? What's this? Spouting, splashing, soaking, innards in just in choke in choke. My language is fucking broken. Nailing never stops the choking. Oh whoa! Please, why are you like this? Let me get a close look at him. Bye. <laughs> that was close. Okay. I think this guy's name is Goop. Um. No, wrong way. God. I. Ink. Not quite quenching my first. Taste is terrible. Stains are terrible. I don't think drinking it was a very romantic I Yeah. How much of an- Okay, I'm sorry. I know that you'd make like a lot of dumb decisions in horror movies, but like, how much of a fucking idiot do you have to be to drink ink? Ooh. 
Now I really want to go to an arcade. Hold on, play some type. Bram Stoker. Oh, shoot. I didn't realize it was a Bram Stoker. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, and also Mary came out of her shell. Mary Shelley. Yeah, 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 yeah. What was the first one? Was it Edgar? I don't think it was Edgar. Ow, I cannot see. What is this? One. Two. Nope. One. <laughs> two. Three. Four. Ah! I found the door! Oh, shoot, I rhymed. <laughs> like, if we talk about, like, gothic horror offers, it's like, Bram Stoker made Dracula, Mary Shelley made Frankenstein or the Modern Prometheus, and then we have Edgar Allan Poe who wrote basically everything else. And, oh, just... I found something today to satisfy my unromantic... Pff, you again. Unromantic first. I woke today from a brief faint and found before me a bottle of red wine. I'm not sure what brand or here, for there's no label. All I gather is that it tastes strongly metallic. Mate, I don't think that was wine. That could have been blood. It's like almost like jungle esque. Or like there's like a lot of moss. Why is it green all of a sudden? Oh! Oh! Oh, I think I remember what's up next. Um, for anybody in chat that are, like, scared of bugs, be careful. Tell me in advance, and I'll just try to make sure to not get a close look. If it is who I think it is. Hmm? Um, hello, uh, um... Hi! Hello? Hello? Are you just gonna say hello? 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 Uh, yes, hello. Okay, it just seems like it's gonna be looping. Hello? I don't think that was... Yeah, no shit, buddy. <laughs> and that was the death of the man who was looking for romance. <laughs> oh, what the f- You again? Poop is just like really slow, I think. Like he can float, sure, but like it's still like. See, I don't. I can't even see him. Oh, there he is. <laughs> also, he kind of reminds me of like Apple Jolly Ranchers a little bit. Like the coloring. I wonder if it tastes like apple too. This is new. Uh, I guess we got rid of Goop. This is a very different... What's this about? Okay, that's locked. Okay. <laughs> ah. S tubes. Oh. Mmm, I think I know what we're dealing with. Subject 5 is growing more and more restless. I told Spook we need more funds for sedatives, but she just laughed and flew into the ceiling. <laughs> We've got more chemicals to keep these things docile. I'm not sure how much longer we can keep them here safely. Generic lab assistant. Well, there's a card. I guess I might need to use that to unlock the door that was locked. Way more blood on the floor. I believe Subject 5 is loose. The glass around its container is shattered, and I can faintly hear clicking coming from the ceiling. Don't know what will happen now. If it is out and alive, then this is probably my last report. The clicking is getting louder. Hmm? Yo! 